Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my favourite mixed armor sets for Monster Hunter Generations. Today I'm showing you an idea for a generic aerial element set that I like using with a range of weapon types. The skills on this set are Critical I plus 3, Element Attack Up, Elemental Crit and Airborne. People that like to min-max will notice that opting to replace Element Attack Up with specific Element plus 1 plus 2 skills will allow you to squeeze extra points out for Element, but realise that this is a quick and convenient go-to set that will allow you to swap in any weapon you like with whichever element you want. On top of that, weapons will not be required to have slots, so that makes this set even more attractive. For those curious, this set will indeed work for both Blade Masters and Gunners alike. Just be mindful that the Gunner set comes with one less point to Elemental, but that can easily be made up for, as I'll talk about soon. For the aesthetics here, I've coloured the pieces in it with a nice light blue to match the Ligiacris Male S, which I think works rather nicely. That's what it looks like. Okay, so the armour pieces in this set comprise of the Hayabusa Feather, Ligia Chris Male S, Escadora Arm Guards R, Chrome Metal Coil, and the Jaggy Shin Guards S. Please do not confuse the Jaggy Shin Guards S with the Jaggy Greaves S, which is also a rare 4 armor piece. Okay, now the total defense that you can squeeze out of this set is 508, well 507 boost to your initial one. If you've got both armor uh, talisman and armor charm, whatever they're called, the claw thing, you're going to get an extra 30 on top of that. So look for about a maximum of 538 defense with this set. Talisman that we're using here is a crit element plus four triple slot. The crit element talismans come up with plus five as their maximum total on talismans. So this is not the penultimate talisman. With the plus four triple slot or better, we, you will not need any weapon slots for Blade Master. With the plus 5 triple slot, you won't need weapon slots for the gunner set. If your talisman does not quite cut it, you can easily make this set using weapons with slots. As for what I've put in here for my particular build, we've got an expert element and critical dual 1 in the talisman. We've got a crit element dual 2 there. Nothing in there because this is a torso up piece without slots. We've got a flight dual in the arms. We've got two flight dual ones in the chest. It's important that you put it here because of the torso up. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at the skills now. As I said before, we've got Critical Eye plus 3, Element Attack Up, Elemental Crit, and Airborne. So 20 points to Expert, getting us Critical Eye plus 3. Critical Eye plus 3 will raise the affinity, i.e. the critical hit chance, of your weapon by 30%. This will benefit us not only through getting critical hit damage, but will also work in concert with Elemental Crit. We've got 10 points to Elemental, giving us Element Attack Up. Now, this skill increases your weapon's Elemental Attribute values by 10%. Elements include Fire, Water, Thunder, Ice, and Dragon. 10 points to Crit Element gets us Elemental Crit. This skill increases elemental damage upon landing a critical hit. The elemental damage multiplier varies with weapon type. For greatsword, the multiplier is 1.2. For bowguns, it's 1.3. For sword and shield, dual blades and bow, it's 1.35. And for all other weapons, it's 1.25. And lastly, we've got 10 points to vault, activating into airborne. Now, airborne is a skill that will increase vaulting attack damage by 10%. It also increases mounting threshold point accumulation and knockdown gauge accumulation by 10%. So you'll be 10% more effective in achieving a mount and completing the riding minigame. And that's about it for the set. Hopefully you guys enjoy using it with whichever weapon type you like using an aerial. I personally love using my Thunder Lance made by Kieran here. Well, made of Kieran rather. For those multi-elemental dealing uh, jump hits that you get, which is really, really sexy. Okay, for next week, what sort of armor sets would you guys like to see? I've got two in mind. The first one that I'm thinking of is a set that I've called Stay Sharp. And as its name suggests, it's got a lot of sharpness uh, kind of theme about it. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's interesting. I've pinched this one from Melf, so I'm going to have to give him a bit of a heads up about it. But yeah, it's rather cool. It's rather tasty. Or would you like to see a bit of a greatsword mixed set showcase? I've got at least three greatsword sets in mind. So either the Stay Sharp set 
or the Great Sword set showcase. Please vote down below in the comments. Let me know how you're thinking, what you'd like to see next week. But yeah, that's going to do for now. My name's Rising Fun Gaming. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.